Nier is quickly becoming the universal liquidity layer in a powerful chain abstraction engine, easily and efficiently connecting everything together in a multi-chain world. Let's talk about it. Welcome to the Nier Rabbit Holes content series that will guide you down this exciting rabbit hole that is the Nier protocol, exploring all its facets. No worries if you can't digest it all at once, it's part of the process. Feel free to ask questions, correct me, like, share, follow and subscribe. This series is sponsored by Nier Dev Hub, part of the public goods for a Nier protocol campaign. Yet, everything here reflects my genuine thoughts and opinions limited to my knowledge of these things. This is episode 4 and you can watch previous episodes on X at VinBarbosaBR and on the free publication decoding.substack.com. You can also follow Near Dev Hub on X and visit nearDevHub.org for more information about the ecosystem. Near is quickly becoming the universal liquidity layer and a powerful chain abstraction engine. Chain abstraction is the simplification of interactions across multiple blockchain networks by hiding the underlying technical complexities from users and developers. Cross-chain interactions have become one of the biggest problems in crypto, requiring a good solution that NIR has delivered. Abstraction interactions in a multi-chain world, just like the creation of money, abstracted trade in a barter-based mm -hmm. world. Anyone can reach any supported chain from any other supported chain through NIR. For example, in episode 1, I explained how NIR Intents allows people to pay with shielded Zcash to a merchant who takes Solana stablecoins, all with very low fees and fast finality. NIR Intents is leading the chain abstraction that has already been implemented by dozens of other protocols and apps, including Zash Wallet and Radium. It's gaining massive recognition among prominent figures from other ecosystems, breaking the toxic tribalism we often see among crypto communities. Personally, I believe that any chain outside near intents will be at a huge disadvantage in 2026. Getting integrated should be all chains' number one priority, joining the already 22 plus leading blockchain supported there. The protocol has already made $5.2 billion volume with 7.7 .7 million intent based chain abstracted swaps. Out of that, $2.8 billion were made in the last 30 days alone among over half a million unique addresses. Generated fees or revenue is also growing exponentially, rotating the value back to NIR. So far, $8 million in fees were paid to the protocol. The highest volumes are within USDT, BTC and USDC tokens according to data indexed by Surge. USDT has seen over $100 million deposits and over $400 million withdrawals. BTC has seen over $400 million deposits and nearly $200 million withdrawals. USDC has seen over $100 million deposits and over $200 million withdrawals. The highest volume rolls are BTC USDC with $170 million in nearly 23,000 swaps and ZAC USDC with $130 million with 9,000 swaps. Yet, USDC ZEC is nearly as much used as ZEC USDC, with 8,000 swaps despite having nearly half its volume at $83 million. Data is from November 17. It's not by chance that we are calling NIR the universal liquidity layer. This is only possible thanks to NIR's chain abstraction tax stack. Chain signatures is a key piece of this puzzle, enabling NIR accounts, including smart contracts, to sign and execute transactions across many blockchain protocols. Chain signatures has three main components. One, derivation paths, one NIR account, deriving addresses in multiple chains. Two, multi-chain smart contract, use it to request signatures for transactions on other blockchains. And three, multi-party computation service or MPC service, independent nodes can safely and privately signing transactions on behalf of users. So, 
Alice.near wants to sign a transaction on Ethereum. She calls the v1.signer smart contract to do it. Derivation path will generate an Ethereum address via the Ethereum 1 string from Alice.near. The MPC service will listen to this request, create the signature and store it in the smart contract, which returns the signature back to Alice.near, who will send it to Ethereum via the Ethereum 1 derived address. Everything is registered on chain, but abstracted to the user. All Alice does is ask the app to send an Ethereum transaction with Alice.near, and she sees it going through. Near is easily and efficiently connecting everything together in a multi-chain world. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, like, share, follow and subscribe for more. See ya!